Good morning you guys, Jason in front of the camera here. I'm walking the Navarre Sport Complex and today is Sunday. I am enjoying walking, I am enjoying life. I am so blessed to be able to walk, to be healthy, all areas of fitness, health, exercise. You know, exercise builds a strong body, strong muscles, strong biceps, stomach muscles, chest, you know, hamstrings. You know, and the rest goes on. Here's what I want to always tell everybody. You know, find what you really love and you enjoy doing and build upon that. That's the key. You know, that is the most important thing. Work at your level. Work at your pace. You know, work towards your goals. Work towards what you want to become, what you want to see yourself doing. You know, that is so important, you know. When I walk this track... I walk and I just let everything flow naturally. I don't say I'm going to walk this amount or that amount because chances are you won't achieve that goal. Now, even if I don't walk a certain amount what I think I'm going to walk, we can work towards that goal in progress. I'm all about progress. I'm all about awesome results. I'm all about being my very finest, the very best that I can be in all areas of everything that I do, hard work, dedication, you put in the hard effort, and it's so important. You know, you're working smart. You're working because God has enabled you, and God is blessing you beyond measure. You know, I want to thank all of those that helped me be all that I can be in my fitness, my classes. It's just so exciting when you're doing any level of fitness for your body. You're doing fitness to better you, to be a healthier you. You know why I love fitness? It changes people's lives and they realize there can be so much more. We have to be that inspiration. We have to be that lighthouse. Amen? That is the biggest thing right there, is being a lighthouse. And God has given us the greatest commandment, love one another. And I love people. I love learning about people, what level they're at. You know, some people have back issues. Some people have knee issues. So when I walk and when I'm with people... I'm always sensitive to their needs, their level, to help them become stronger and overcome what's been holding them back. See, we let a lot of things hold us back. We let things get in the way of our progress and where we want to see ourselves. And here's the key. Don't let fear creep in or become nervous or anxious, you see. Build on that confidence level every day. Work towards your, your long-term goals, your short-term goals. Don't be afraid to go out there and try new approaches. But here's what I always tell everyone. Get the proper training from a, from a certified fitness trainer. Work towards your goals. Work on where you want to become, what you want to do. And always consult your, your family physician. Always, you know, very important though. And something else raised the red flag. I was, I was being told about a certain diet, and I ran it by my doctor. The body has to have a certain amount of salt and electrolytes and sugars and, a, you know, trans fats, a whole nine yards goes to work properly. Someone kept telling me, cut out the salts and the sugars, and I'm not against that. I'm not, I'm not picking on that. This is why I tell everyone you always want to be with a certified licensed trainer. You want to work with people that deal with nutrition, you know, that deal with, you know, the proper way of calories, foods. And when I was learning to lose weight, I had to learn 